6. A Folsom City Council candidate is being criticized tonight by some for not being the role model that he has claimed to be. CBS 13 has learned that Robert Lewis Ross had a run in with police in 2004. Good evening, I'm Sam Shane. And I'm Adrian Moore. So we wanted to know are candidates required to disclose their criminal history? CBS 13's Angela Musalam is live tonight getting answers. Well, Sam Adrian, according to the Sacramento County DA, Ross was charged with false imprisonment and violating a protective court order in 2004. Today, he released a statement on Facebook admitting to the charges, saying they were nonviolent. This is Rob Ross today, a self proclaimed family man and member of several local civic organizations. But in 2004, the Sacramento County DA says Ross was arrested and charged with three felonies, including false imprisonment and kidnapping. Ross was also charged with a misdemeanor of violating a court order. The DA's office says it later reduced the false imprisonment charge to a misdemeanor and dropped the charges for kidnapping and destruction of a telephone line. Court documents show Ross pleaded no contest to charges of violating a protective order and false imprisonment. So we wanted to know if candidates running for council must disclose their past and whether a criminal history could disqualify them from running. To, uh, under state law, uh, individual localities can have uh, more strict election codes than, than the baseline sort of statewide codes. According to Sacramento County's election code, anyone can run for state or local office as long as they aren't in prison or on parole for a felony. In addition, the county's election code makes no mention of requiring a candidate to reveal anything from their past during a campaign. Ross posted a clarification on Tuesday saying, quote, The situation was a result of a verbal argument I had with a woman I dated. I decided to accept the nonviolent misdemeanor charges to put this matter behind me, end quote. And Ross did serve three years probation starting in 2005. I spoke with Ross over the phone today. He says he remains committed to serving his community. And Sam, I also asked Ross about how people would view him now as a candidate. He says he doesn't see 12 year old nonviolent misdemeanor charges impacting his future capabilities. All right, we will have to see here. All right, Angela Musalam reporting live for us tonight. Thanks. We received this story from a viewer. If you'd like to send us your story ideas, you can tweet us or send a message on Facebook or email us at news at kovr.com.